Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. I hope this setup is okay. Um, trying to fit a tripod on a table is pretty tricky. So hopefully you can see it very well. The lighting's better than normal. Um, I want to make some some bats for spinning on my new wheel so um, I bought myself a e-spinner from Ashford um, jumbo a super jumbo flyer so I haven't used it yet so I'm going to use it in this video so it'll be the first time you've seen me use it apart from a little snippet from this video that I'll be putting in the um, unboxing video which will be put out before this one um, I've got a lot of white merino so I'm going to try to do a blending and add colour to that so it's not going to be too white. I like to have colour, flare and pop. So let's get started. This is going to be an art bat. So any leftovers from another um, bat is fine because I'm using similar colours. So I've got some more natural colours that I want to use in this, plus some hand dyed charcoal leftovers from one of my um, dye ups. Um, I want to have a blended mix of white um this natural fawn color there's a lot of really black guard hair in this one in this So if you see me stopping and starting, it's because I'm picking out the guard hair. So the white is a 21 micron merino. This fawn-ish colour one is called Outlander. 
It's a Scottish sorry sheep cashmere mugga silk. So it's going to have gold brown through it. Mulberry silk, super fine merino and angora bunny. So the guard hair is coming from the Scottish sheep. Because the cashmere is the head and it's white. So very soft this one very shiny so i want to put a decent amount in this but also have some left over for something else I want the volume from the merino and I want the silky from this fibre um, so I can make some art yarn on my new wheel. So I'm going to have it pretty blended together before I start adding any colour. Just making, just going over it, making sure there's no plant waste and and um, guard hair. This is bison, raw bison. It's quite thick, but it's soft. This has been sitting in the bag for a little while, so. I'm going to add from the top. This is extremely short too. They just add little chunks, like so. I'm gonna pop it through for another blending. It's gonna go through nicely.
this is another technique by just adding little bits to the bottom to add streaks. Oh, look at that. Where'd that come from? Why I take that off? Because it's not going to be the same colour as what I'm going to be putting into it. However, looks pretty. do the blue with it. Where's that coming off? Silk, aqua silk. Because it's slippery, I go from the top.
This is recycled sari silk. It is, it can be added from the top or the bottom like I did with the little sections. So if you want it more pop for texture, add it to the top. If you want it more blended, add it to the bottom. Because I don't have a lot of it, I'm going to go from the bottom. Ready. I am going to add some Angelina. If I can find it. Where did I put it? I moved a box. I can't remember. I think it might have been this one. I'm going to go with a probably a silver probably blue silver You don't need a lot of it. Okay? This stuff is expensive. And it's hard to find. So I don't use a lot. Just add it to the top like so. little tiny pinch That's pretty, I think. Probably looked better with just the white, but I think it is quite beautiful. I don't know what I did with the white. Throw it away. You want to add a little tiny bit of the main colour. You can add highlights.
I think that's it for this one that I'll add into it. like painting a picture. This is very, very dense, this one. It'll take a little bit to get it off. I use a dog brush because it works really nicely it's not it's gentle on my machine and when I'm finished I can just push this button and all the fiber comes off And there it is. Hi! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that part. Now this is how I prep my, my fibre bats to get ready for art yarn. So I go from the centre and I pull it. And then I go from the centre again and I pull it. and from the center again and I pull it <laughs> and then I go big strip and I wrap it around my hand like so and make mini bats this is a lot easier to control on your wheel that I got silk in my mouth when you're playing with silk it gets everywhere up your nose in your eyes all over your glasses in your mouth in your coffee everywhere okay so when spinning art yarn mini bats are so much more easier to control than a large bat taking up knotting up getting into your threads and everything okay and then you take it off your hand and you got this cute little ball and when you're ready to spin it you find this part and you can unravel it then you spin from this part okay so that's one and I'll get probably six on this one. Unfortunately, my um, my drum carter, 
only makes 60 to 80 gram bats. My new wheel, however, will take uh, a kilo of fiber. So that's going to be a lot of making bats to fill my new wheel. And each one is different, which makes it more funkier, I think, once it's made up. So I'm making these ones a bit bigger than normal because I want to make chunky yarn. Um, so I've got a really big orifice for it. I've probably got about enough to make one more bat of this if I run out. If I need more. Can you see me doing this? Or do I need to go down a bit? I don't know. So you wrap it up. This is for you art yarn spinners, okay? They also make it easy for spindling as well. You can felt with them. And also on the smaller wheel. So this is how I like to spin my stuff in these mini bats. Unless I'm spinning directly from a top that's already prepped. But this makes the colours pop. It, I just enjoy being able to make my own fibre. Um, I do wish that I had more colour for base fibre. But at the moment, I've only got white. So, maybe in a week or two I can do a big dyeing session and record it for you um, dyeing up a whole heap of solids for carding videos um, so yeah that'll give us give me plenty of things to film for videos I did. I got seven. Seven, seven of these. Um, I will probably pan you down so you can see. See them? Actually, no, I got eight. I got eight of them. There's a bit of grass in that one. It just pops out every now and then. A bit of grass here and there. Lots of pretties and different chunks of colour. This is nice. This is like a, a beachy kind of colours. Don't normally do a lot of blue, but this one's pretty. And this is using a lot of my leftover fiber, like all my uh, bits that I pull off the tops um, while I'm spinning that are sticking out or just um, fiber waste. And I don't throw anything out because fiber waste can create the most beautiful yarns. You can use it for texture in your carding and you can use it as mystery yarns on your wheel. It's a lot of fun. So don't throw anything out, okay? I wasted a lot of fiber when I was starting out and 
I'm kind of kicking myself now. But now that I know that you can actually use it all up, bag it all up, and then use it in something else, then that is awesome. So I will spin this up on my new wheel for you. And I'm going to use this waste from the front, this leftover stuff as well. I'm going to just pop it on the big drum. Like so. And then when I get around to making another one, I'll just use that, add it to it. This one's got a bit of pink in it and little bits and bobs. I don't actually make a lot of fibre um, much. I don't know why. I use what I've got on hand and then if I run out and I need something for something specific, then I'll make something. So it will go into a bag and make a cloud. Okay, this is leftovers from the front. And because it's so like this, you call it a cloud. You add all your bits from the front into a bag and I'll make another 100 grams of something different for making art yarn. So remember, <laughs> don't throw this out. You can put it back through here, through the top, or you can put it in the bag and have mixed colours of the front fluff, which I'm going to do because it will make something really pretty. Okay, like so, and when you fill it up, you can spin it. And then anything left over... I put into bags for next time. So I thought this video I was going to make something up with my leftover tequila sunrise, my leftover spring garden. And then I saw how beautiful that blue was making up and I didn't want to add too much other colour to it. So, thank you for watching. I will have the second part of this video of me spinning this up. Bye for now.